Okay, it's my third attempt to make this video because my camera has been kind of fritzing out on me. Uh, but I think I got it, okay? Uh, today I'm going to continue talking about uh, something I've talked about in the past, which what I've talked about in the past is the idea of gatekeeping, which is that idea that like I get to stand at the gate and decide who may enter or not. And specifically that gate is usually uh, defining some sort of genre or group of something. So for instance, this is punk or it's not. This is ska or it's not. This is literature or it's not. And I have a big problem with that. I don't like gatekeepers. I think their primary function is to exclude people. Meanwhile, I'm always trying to in, include people and have them welcome and have them be a part. Um, and so I'm, I'm not a fan of that, partially because I, I always struggle with who gets to decide that you're the person that draws that line. Who decides that, right? And also because no 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 band is one thing. No, no book is one thing. They're all more complex than that. Like John Green and Hank Green talk about how we need to imagine people more complexly, but we also need to imagine music more complexly, and we need to imagine literature more complexly, right? So for instance, my, one of my favorite bands since the 90s, Blink-182, if you look at their earlier albums, you look at albums like, like um, uh, Enema of the State, and you look at Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, those are like definitively pop punk, right? They're some of the earliest pop punk music that really opened the door for a lot of other bands to become popular. But if you look at later albums, like the self-titled album, that's definitely not the same kind of pop punk. Is it even pop punk anymore? Who knows? I don't think at any point the guys in Blink-182, I don't think Mark, Tom, and Travis looked at each other and said, let's not do pop punk anymore. I think they said, let's just make the music we want to make, and it is what it is. They were growing as people, growing as musicians. You know, Mark Hoppus has talked about, if I'm still making the same, you know, potty humor jokes that I was when I was a kid now... You know, there might be something wrong with me. And, and and he makes those jokes from time to time, but it's not as pervasive as it was in the earlier albums, right? Uh, things that we used to not think were inappropriate, now we look at some of those things and we're like, oh, that was certainly inappropriate. So they've grown. So do I still categorize them as pop punk? Well, if I'm organizing my vinyl collection or I'm organizing my CD collection, yeah, I'm probably going to put all their music together in pop punk because that is primarily what I consider them as a pop punk band. But they're more than that. Right? If I'm trying to figure out where to put a book like the, the March Trilogy right, by John Lewis, if you've never read the March Trilogy, by the way, a phenomenal graphic novel series that I've talked about on this channel before. So it is a graphic novel. Does it go in the graphic novels? It is a sort of biography. Does it go in or autobiography? Does it go in the autobiographies? It is a historical retelling of the civil rights movement. Does it go with that? What What is it? Right? So... That's where it becomes complicated because it's so many things. And, 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 and librarians, though we are the, the sort of keepers of, of the, the, the order, the, the categorizers, we struggle with that idea of categorization. That's why you have some libraries that have chosen to genreify. So here's my horror section. Here's my, here's my science fiction section. Here's my uh, realistic fiction section. Right? But sometimes that makes it harder for people to find. And what if that pigeonholes things, right? Here's the books for boys. Oh, they're all sports books. Well, I'm a boy. I don't like sports that much. Not enough to read a whole book about it, unless it has to do with other things as well. I'm probably never going to go look in those books. Here's the girls section, all romance books. Well, I'm a guy. I like romance stories. But I'm going to feel a little awkward going over into the section that's for girls if you've categorized it that way, right? And I'm not saying that there's never a place for those things. Librarians tend to know what's best for their community. Um, and if you don't think a librarian does, feel free to let them know, you know, as positively as possible. But it's just that that issue of categorization is so complex and so challenging. So what is the value of it? What's the value of having genres and categories? Why do we do that? Well, for one thing... It is important to do also because it helps us to find things that we love. So as much as I get frustrated by the 47 genres of punk music, this is skate punk and that's gutter punk and blah, 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 blah. Right? As much as I get frustrated by that, that discussion, if it's labeled punk anything, I'm probably going to pick it up. Right? Same with ska. You know? And, and... 
the three waves of ska are so, so, so like very different. I'm definitely going to be more drawn to that third wave ska until a great band like Five Iron Frenzy introduces me to more of the two-tone and dub sounds like they did in their new album. And now I'm like, oh, I want to try some of that two-tone and dub stuff. Right? So when we have those categories, it helps us to find other things. I want to find, for instance, a superhero graphic novel. Here's our graphic novel section. And here you can find all the Batman comic books, all the Spider-Man comic books. So categorization is good because it, it helps those of us who are less familiar find what we want, what fits us. Categorization becomes problematic when it becomes a tool for gatekeeping. So I'm saying all this, this is sort of my speech of the day, my soapbox for the day, about why we should value categorization, but not let it limit us. I hope that you will go find an album that you love, go find a band that you love, go find a book that you love, no matter what the genre or category is, and I hope you pick it up.